My father was a super modified racer back when I was a kid, so always as growing up, it's a race car in the garage. So I got the opportunity to work on those cars, and then growing up, my father always was interested in unique builds, unique cars, things like that, and so that kind of sparked my interest. The car behind me is a 1993 Mazda RX-7 FD. So the first thing is the billet engine that's in it. So the, the, the block was made by Billet Pro in Australia. There's a kind of a design and reason why we put billet plates in them. It makes it stronger. It's just like putting a billet motor in a, in a race car or in a V8 or anything else. There's strength in that billet motor. So, and then it's got a set of twin Garrett G42 1200 turbos on it. One of the unique things about it is, is the transmission has been moved to the back end of the car. Normally in an RX-7, the transmission is right behind the engine. A few months ago, I took the exhaust off the car and sent all the exhaust off to PTP Turbo Blankets. They 3D scanned all of the exhaust and made custom blankets for the exhaust. Probably have to say my favorite part of the car, I really do, I think is the front end of the car. It's got projector LED headlights in it, but it still blends in with the RX3 front end, which is a 70s front end. Of course, another thing you can see are the big 19-inch wheels that are on it, the Vossen 19s. The other thing you can probably tell is I love carbon fiber. From interior panels to the carbon fiber mirrors, the carbon fiber skirts that are on it. There's four different components into these fenders. There's Mazda RX-7. The door has some scalloping in it, so I really wanted to keep the side scoops that are from the RX-7. Then you blend in the, the fender flares are actually from a BMW M3. There's some Volkswagen Beetle parts in there to kind of help create some of the curves and kind of finalize that out, and then of course the RX3 steel that's in the front. One of the neat things about the back end of this car is it has a set of Evo R taillights, and one of the neat functions of the Evo R taillights is the turn signal pattern is the same exact pattern that the Lamborghini has in the back end of it. So not only is it an opportunity for the trade to put their products out there, it's an opportunity for us as car builders to do innovative things like this. No other platform allows us to take member products, put them together many times in custom formats such as this, and then showcase them and then have the world see them. That's what allured me to battle the builders because it does, gives me the opportunity to get seen.